and welcome back to another Green Forest English Academy English lesson. My name is Jason, and today we're going to talk about prepositions of time. On, at, and in. Okay, so let's meet on Sunday at 7 o'clock in the evening. Okay, so this is how we use at, on, and in. Are you ready to take a look in more detail? All right, well, let's go. Prepositions of time. All right, so here we have prepositions of time. Okay, the first one we have is on. Right? And it's used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, okay, and specific dates. Um, I play baseball on the weekends, okay? So on is used for certain days of the week. Monday morning, on Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees goes out and causes terror, right? Friday the 13th, one of my favorite horror movies. Not only because my name is Jason too, but as a child, I used to watch it, even though I probably shouldn't have, right? So also, on the 12th or on the 21st, we would use it. Um, and on a specific date, on December 10th, 1867, one of my favorite samurai, Sakamoto Lyomo, was killed, okay, on a specific date. On February 1st, again, it's a date, February 1st, all right? So this is when we would use on, the preposition on, okay, to discuss certain days of the week or portions of the week. Next, we have at, okay, and this is used to discuss clock time or other very specific time frames, right? Let's meet at nine o'clock, right? Let's, uh, let's talk at lunchtime, all right? So it's, it's a specific clock time or it's a very specific time frame. Um, let's you know, eat lunch at noon today, right? Or at night, we can see the moon shining in the sky, right? At night. So we did on, we did at, and the last one is in, okay? This is used to discuss months, seasons, years, centuries, general times of the day, and longer periods of time, right? So in the morning, I go jogging, right? In the morning, I go jogging. Uh, in the summer, right? In the summer, it's very hot. In the summer, it's very hot. In April, the cherry blossoms here in Japan are very beautiful. In April. You know, World War II ended in 1945, right? So we use in to discuss months, seasons, years, centuries, things like that. In the 19th century, in the 1900s, okay? So these are prepositions of time that we use very often. On Sunday, on the weekend, on Friday the 13th, at 9 o'clock, at night, at lunchtime, and in, in the morning, in summer, in 1945, in the 16th century. Okay? So these are how we use the prepositions of time. On, at, and in. I hope this lesson helped you, and I hope you gained a lot of information from it. If you did like it and you did learn something, be very kind and click the like button and subscribe for more lessons from Green Forest English Academy. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.